two, two, two day, we will run through part two of my Bitcoin to 20 million video that I did. That is a lot of uh, speculation, but it made sense based on what is happening right now with institutional money and clients coming into crypto by way of the Bitcoin ETFs. Here is content that will expand upon it a lot more, make even more sense on that, and roll into how this uh, translates over into the influence that BlackRock has on XRP. So uh, the big point that I want to begin with is that we are in a new crypto market now. Up until now, the, the vast majority of uh, volume has been determined by people like us and by a few of the market makers in crypto. That has completely changed. Imagine being able to process every social media post in existence within a fraction of a second to determine your next move. That is basically what uh, BlackRock's Aladdin is, which has a lot of AI involved in it. And that will be one of the heavy uh, concentrations of today's c c c content. So um, we have that uh, uh, Aladdin was not in the crypto market before the ETFs because B B BlackRock's institutional uh, platform was not in yet, but it is now. So this kind of goes back on to that post I had up at the, 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 the opening. C crypto br b b bros don't know or can't see that the game has ch changed. You are now playing against an opponent that you can't see or hear c coming. But you are now up against the gr greatest AI asset in traditional f finance. It will not be beat. And what does it actually uh, mean or is it just a cute name? Uh, it is Asset Liability and Debt Derivative Investment Network. Uh, they probably had an idea and had to make it fit in to a c c clever name, but that explains exactly what all BlackRock is involved in here. So I did find a clip to uh, provide a good overview of what I'll be uh, expanding more on, and I will just play this here. There is one AI that has a monopoly on Wall Street, is now more powerful than politics, and is buying up every asset in the world at a faster rate than ever before. Meet Aladdin. Aladdin is actually a network composed of 5,000 supercomputers that now manages a whopping $21 trillion in assets, which is more than the GDP of every country on Earth except the US and China, and it does so with very little human intervention. What's even more alarming is Aladdin now tracks everything in our lives from what we buy to what we eat, and even our bank transactions. And yet most of us don't even know it exists. Most importantly, I believe Aladdin may be the secret weapon the elite few are using to control more of our lives every day, leaving us with less money, property, and freedom. Here is one I found that is a longer one, so I won't play it on here. But if you uh, just go on X and you search for uh, BlackRock Aladdin AI, it has a lot of posts on that. But I do have one more that I will show in a bit that explains it a little bit more in depth as well. So I did include this in my part one. The nine new ETF funds bought approximately 30,000 Bitcoin in just the past three days, and that was on February the 1st. So uh, they have picked up about 70,000 or so, I think at this point, and that will continue to, to, to happen. Uh, this is just a, a reminder of how my uh, part one on this actually plays into a lot of um, why 
BlackRock is actually involved in this. Um, that was a little bit uh, controversial probably for a lot of people, and I'm not saying that it will happen exactly in that way, but I think that the overall uh, idea is probably pretty practical. So that is just another reminder as well here. Um, this was a really interesting one and it kind of explains where that 20 million actually came from. And it's not from the, the, the same guy. So I'll just let him explain it here. Every single price prediction I've given you about Bitcoin, it's based on one number, a 1% allocation of existing liquidity moving into Bitcoin over the next 30 years. That's it, $900 trillion of global liquidity. If 1% finds its way into Bitcoin, that's $9 trillion. And if I was to take that $9 trillion and try to get it into Bitcoin in a very, very fast method using the Bank of America price multiple, it's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm having to halve the Bank of America price multiple down to 50. And that takes me to $450 trillion of a market cap. If we go 450 trillion and we divide that by 21 million, that works out to a $21.4 million Bitcoin price. I'm talking about simple math here. You have a market cap, you divide it by the fully issued supply and you have a price. So um, I'm not exactly in the know on a lot of this. Uh, the multiple that he was talking about is essentially saying that for every $1 of Bitcoin that is actually purchased, there is a multiplier in terms of uh, what the actual value or what the actual price ends up as. And I've heard explanations on it before. I don't understand it well enough to uh, explain in sh short here. But if you're more interested in that, there is um, a lot of good information on that out there, uh, primarily from him and from uh, ch 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 Chad as well. So he did say over the next 30 years, right? And this is a much longer term thing. Obviously, we won't hit uh, 21.4 million per Bitcoin overnight. But um, assuming that it actually hangs around that long and it is seen as uh, valuable of an asset as it is now, then the uh, demand and the supply of that just kind of equal out. So here is a little bit more on what could happen now. And this kind of goes in with uh, one of the lines of thought that I am interested in uh, for this upcoming bull run. And that is that we could hit a massive all-time high before the, the, the having even ha ha happens. Um, this is a pretty controversial thing, and this account here seems to get a lot of hate, but that's primarily just because a lot of people won't think outside of the box. Now, this model is essentially pointing towards uh, a $200,000 price of Bitcoin by about May of 2024. So just take that for what it's worth, but it is a, an interesting concept that lines up with um, a few other people who I f f follow who think the same way as well. This is a much more uh, advanced uh, explanation of that. And I'm not a t t TA guy, so I won't get into that. But if you are interested in that, there is more information on that here. Uh, when the selling pressure lets up, Aladdin will deploy capital. B b b BlackRock owns b b b Bitcoin now. So that's just a reminder. Uh, I'm going to X out of that. Okay. So uh, this is a longer one th th that I won't play, but the important thing is it is constant algorithmic buying that won't ever actually stop. He's telling you exactly what you should be trying to understand, that the market today is not the market that you once knew. 
the b b b buyers now have AI deadlocked onto these assets and they are coming for it all. So this is a clip from a guy who's been uh, p picking up a lot of traction on X especially. And uh, I f follow him now and he puts out a lot of interesting stuff. Actually, no. Yes, oh, so it's him. But he did a video probably about a week ago that showed um, that BlackRock is 45% owned by M Merrill Lynch, which is controlled by the Bank of America, of which Warren Buffett and Ber Ber Berkshire Hathaway is the top shareholder with 13%. So it's not really just B B B B B BlackRock here. All of the major uh, financial institutions essentially own e e e e e each other. So I, it's, it is just another example to show uh, that the elites are actually the ones who run this part of our show. So Aladdin AI is the major player in the global system. You are now facing Aladdin in the crypto market. Don't underestimate them. Uh, ready or not, uh, uh, Aladdin is p picking up everything you got. I feel bad for pe people who just do not understand that the player they are up against is not just uh, some dude in his mom's basement anymore. So here is the video uh, that actually explains a little bit more about what Aladdin is and how it works. The technology was designed specifically to be a risk analysis tool for BlackRock, and in its first 10 years it was used as such. However, Aladdin continued to get more intelligent and better at analyzing risks and distinguishing between losers and winners. In its 11th year, Fink decided that its usage had to be expanded. Through a series of updates and improvements, Aladdin has now outgrown its humble beginnings. It currently supports a variety of company tasks and operations, including those of some BlackRock competitors such as Deutsche Asset Management, now DWS, and Schroders, for instance. From portfolio managers to compliance officers, everyone in the financial space has a need for this tool because it incorporates risk analytics, portfolio management, trading and operations features into one system. I'm sure that you'll agree with me that Aladdin is an interesting piece of tech based off of what you've heard so far, but trust me, there is more. First off, more than 55,000 investment workers are connected via and dependent on Aladdin. Aladdin has effectively eliminated the need for paperwork and middlemen, and it contains a climate risk reporting app to help clients know if any climate related risk might affect their portfolio. Aladdin controls 21 trillion US dollars of the global economy. Considering how big Aladdin is and continues to get, its monetary control could actually get bigger than that really soon. Especially if you consider that this number doubled over the past four years. Just to give you some comparative numbers, the GDP of the United States is 20 trillion US dollars. Still putting things into perspective, the New Statesman mentioned that the total physical cash of every single person, wallet, piggy bank, company and bank vault in the world amounts to about $5 trillion. Aladdin controls more than four times the value of all physical cash in the world. Aladdin even controls the actions of the US Federal Reserve and almost every major bank and investment firm on Wall Street. And it carries out about 250,000 trades and billions of financial calculations every day. Now according to Jody Kohansky, head of the Aladdin product group at BlackRock, while Aladdin is used by a variety of investment officers and asset managers, each Aladdin client uses the system in a way that suits their objectives. Every Aladdin client has their own risk department which looks deeply at the model and overlays its own views. So here is a uh, picture of the Aladdin site. Um, and I do look into a little bit more about that in just a bit. So welcome to the new era of investment management tech. Um, here's some more uh, tin foil things, but uh, basically uh, this account, which I won't say on here, new. Um, AI chatter across liquidity pools. AI controls the future of financial network. And that was from July of 2022. 
Aladdin of the Arabian Desert. Now you know. Um, again, that's from that same account back in 2022. Um, and uh, Aladdin for years has been watching the crypto market from the sidelines. And here's where we get into XRP. Robert Michnik left Ripple and took the job at BlackRock as the head of digital assets. BlackRock entered the game per the request of Aladdin. There's a reason no one is aware of what Aladdin really is. So that is in response to Meet Aladdin, the computer more powerful than traditional politics, which was put out back in... 2018 and updated in 2021. So uh, this line here is interesting because I wonder if uh, the AI was actually pointing towards crypto as uh, the next good investment for BlackRock. So let's not forget that Michnik helped create an XRP price calculator which a lot of people today actually uh, say is um, wildly unreasonable just with what Ripple and XRP have done so far. But that actually comes from the guy who uh, leads digital assets over at BlackRock. So I think he knows what he's actually talking about. And now, once you start to understand Aladdin AI, look at what is happening with the new LPs. This is what XRP will be involved in. Um, this does have a song in there, so I won't play that. But um, that is out there if you are interested in that. So now, a little bit more on the uh, publicly in available information on Aladdin, which isn't a whole lot, and it does not really even talk about AI on BlackRock site, which probably makes sense because they don't want to uh, advertise how powerful it actually is uh, to the pe 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 peasants like us. Um, in 2013, it handled about 11 trillion in assets, uh, which was about 7% of the world's financial assets and kept track of about 30,000 investment portfolios. Folios. As of 2020, Aladdin was in control of 21.6 trillion in assets, which is insane. So this is probably the best article that I've actually found that explains more about the AI part. Um, it is from August of 2023, and it's talking more about AI. Um, it says that the real power behind it is its AI with its uh, uh, ability to analyze vast amounts of information. It can find patterns and co correlations that might uh, not be obvious to even human experts. Through the use of machine learning, Aladdin can find and predict risks in investment portfolios as well. Uh, it employs AI to analyze alternative d d data s sources like social media and news feeds, providing investors with valuable insights. That is the only uh, spot where I have actually seen that writ written out. And I don't think that BlackRock wants to make that too publicly known. Um, there's not much else in here that's uh, too interesting, but um, yeah, I think we will truly see the power of B B B BlackRock and Aladdin, not just with what uh, th 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 they, th the ETFs have already done, but with what it will continue to do every day. And how that will carry over into XRP.